from Hollywood. It's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And here is the star of Tic Tac Doe, Mr. Rodney Flippin. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to Tic Tac Doe Season 2, Episode 10 of Tic Tac Doe. Glad to have you with us. And if you saw yesterday's show, we ended with a tie on yesterday's show. That's why you seen the um, game screen with $27,000 in the jackpot right now. And in order for us to do that tiebreaker, we have to have contestants. Steve, who are our contestants are? All right. Our returning uh, the contestants are, oh, excuse me, are Alex Panter and Justin Bolin. Welcome, 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 guys. How y'all guys doing? Good. Well, how huh, say again? Let's hope for a winner here. We hope so, too. Y'all played a decent, very good game yesterday. Y'all um, built up a pot of $27,000 in the pot, and uh, we're going to do our second game right now between you guys, okay? Okay. And Alex Panther, you're the champion with $74,383, okay? All right, let's do this. So if you're ready, let's bring up the nine categories, and they are... Hang on. There we go. Okay, the nine categories are general science, the $10,000 question, games, comic books, TV shows, bonus category, 2014, that is the year 2014, jump in category, and take a letter. And in the bonus category, as y'all know, it's going to be a three-part question in the bonus category. I'll read your three-part question. If you answer all three parts correctly in the bonus category, then you will get another turn immediately, okay? Alright, uh, Alex, if you're ready, uh, which category do you want to start off with in your second game? Game. What do you say? Game. Games, okay. Here's your question on games. In what game do you have to pull a wooden block from from what is this? Oh, I spelled this wrong. Okay. In what game do you pull, have to pull a wooden block from a stack? Is it A, Candyland, B, Jenga, C, Backgammon, or D, Dominoes? It's no doubt Jenga. That's correct. Good job. $29,000 is in the pot, and we shuffle. Okay. All right, Justin, which category? I guess I'll just take a letter. Go and take a letter, okay? And I'm going to tell you what your letter is. Your letter is T, um, um, Justin. T. That means the answer will start with the letter T, okay? Okay. This T is a musical instrument Dizzy Gillespie played. Name it. Trumpet? That's correct. 3100 I'm um, excuse me, 3000 I'm um, excuse me, $31,000 in the pot, we shuffle. Okay, uh, Panther, where would you like to go? Games. Okay, and this is a two-part question worth uh, $3,000, if you need the extra time, we will give it to you. Okay, here's your question. First, in the game of checkers, which piece can move forward and backward diagonally and jump over other pieces? Is it A, neither of these, B, king, C, any checker, or D, both of these? And the second question, which of these terms would be used in the game of bridge? Is it A, bid, B, dummy, C, grand slam, or D, all of these? Do you need the extra time? No. All right, go ahead and tell me your answers. First question, B. Second question, D. Good job! Right. Yeah, it was, yeah. for the record, it's B, King, and the second question, D, all of these. Yes, yeah, because you do use Bid, Dummy, and Grand Slam on the game bridge. Good job, Panther. We put uh, $3,000 in the pot, making it $34,000, and we shuffle. 
Okay, where would you like to go, Justin? Take a letter to block. All right. We're getting the same two categories. Here's your question on take a letter. This time your letter is G, okay? G. Your letter is G. Who okay. introduced Christmas cookies to Canada in the 1700s? Who introduced Christmas cookies? Yes, to Canada in the 1700s. Five seconds. It was Germans. Germans. Okay, $34,000 is still in the pot. We shuffle. Okay, Panther, where would you like to go? 2014 to end this time. And, and, absolutely. Now, if you get this question right on 2014, Panther, you'll win Tic-Tac-Doe $36,000. And your winnings will go up to $110,383, okay? All right, let's end this. Okay, here's the question, Panther. Okay. The first woman to host a late-night network television talk show, which comedian died while undergoing a minor throat procedure in August of 2014? Is it A, Phyllis Diller, B, Kathy Griffin, C, Whoopi Goldberg, or D, Joan Rivers? D. Joan Rivers? Yes. Tic Tac Doe, good job. Wait, I thought she had said. I thought it was September when she died, actually. Well, uh, here I got August. Yeah, but she died in September. She died on September 4th. Was it September 4th? I believe. Well, we'll was, check it during the commercial. video to Patrick Bow that same day, and you announced it. Okay, well, um, we'll check it up online. It was September 4th. It was September 4th? Okay, then I got the question wrong. But the main thing is you got it right, Panther, and you got $36,000 in our congratulations, okay? Hey, I'm glad I ended this. Yep, and you, you're um, going to go ahead and play against the dragon shortly. All right, Justin... You're not going way empty-handed, Justin. We're going to give you $2,500 for playing one tie game, okay? Okay. And our congratulations, okay? Well, Panther, you ready to go ahead and face against the dragon? Yep, that idiot dragon. He is an idiot, that's for sure. Okay, if you're ready, come on over here and let's play against the dragon. You know what? She probably... Now, I'm going to say this. I didn't say she died in uh, August. Now, here I said she went through a throat procedure in August of 2014. Oh, you didn't say she died in 2014? No. I mean, no. In August he, of 2014? Yeah, here's what the question said. The first woman to host a late-night network television talk show, which comedian died while undergoing a minor throat procedure in August of 2014? But she didn't say she died in August 2014? No, she went through a throat procedure in August. Oh. Yeah, but she did die in September, though. Yeah, that was the question. Okay, I guess I misunderstood. Yeah. All right, but anyway, Panther, you ready to go? Look, get that idiot dragon. Yeah, but as you know, there's nine numbers on the board, and the object for you is to reach $10,000 or more without seeing this jerk in number five. Reach $10,000 or more and Steve will tell you what prizes you'll be in for. Well, if you're lucky not to find the dragon on there, we have some fabulous prizes that you can win. They are a trip to Cancun Pens, dining group and dinnerware, a trip to Munich 
at Entertainment Center with a 50-inch projection TV, a trip to Monte Carlo, along with a living room group and portable keyboard, all valued at $37,730. Wow, that's a nice, healthy prize package there, Steve. Yes, and, it is. And, um, Panther, since you won the jackpot on the last show, we reset the jack up, jackpot at $25,000, so if you manage to get the tick and the tag, Panther, We'll give you the $25,000 and a shot at a new car, okay? Okay, let's do this. All right, well, let's cover the board up. We're not going to waste any time. And if you're ready let's to not. go, Panther, go ahead and start picking. Let's not see that dragon. Let's do number seven. Let's see what's behind number seven. Nice, fast start, Panther. $5,000. You can stop and go. Let's go. Okay. Next number. Let's do uh, number two. Let's see what's behind number deuce. No dragon. Seven thousand five hundred dollars is where you're at now, Panther. Now you can take the seventy five hundred dollars and stop, or you can continue to go. Go. I need a second chance at a car. All right. You remember now, Panther. You must get the tick and the tack to get the car. I know. All right. Let's do four. Okay. If you get uh twenty five hundred more dollars on this pick, you'll win the prize package. Okay. Let's see what's behind number four. Okay. It's fifteen hundred dollars. You had nine thousand dollars now. Now, what do you want to do? You want to take the nine thousand and walk, or you want to uh keep going? Keep going. All right, you need $1,000 to win the prize package. Which number do you want? Number eight. Let's see. Is $1,000 by number eight? Woo! A tick. Now, Panther, now this will be definitely your last pick right here. Either you're going to win right here or you're going to lose right here. Now, But you still have the option to take the $9,000 and walk away. What's your uh, pleasure? Let's do it one more time. All right. Um, one, three, five, six, or nine. Number three. All right. If it's a thousand dollars, you win the prize package. If it is a tax, you'll win a twenty-five thousand dollar bonus, and you'll have a shot in a new car. Okay. If it's a dragon, it's game over. Exactly. Well, it's going to be game over either way. Let's see it. Ah! Man. Dragon. That dragon. Let's boo at him right quick. Boo is, boo is, boo is, boo is. Well, let's see where you should have gone, Panther. Yeah, you should have went next door to number nine. If you had to went next door to number nine, you would have had the prize package and the jackpot, okay? Well, but there's something that the dragon cannot take away from you, Panther. You still have $110,383, and you're going to play another game, okay? Okay. And we're going to take a commercial break and pay some bills. And when we come back, we'll do another game. Don't go away. Back with more Tic Tac Joe after this. Now back with more Tic Tac Doe and your host, Rodney. Well, guys, well, the dragon had a nerve to show his face up, but um, hopefully that won't happen again tonight. Um, so Al Alex Panther has $110,383, and he's facing this next opponent, Steve. His opponent is from the state of Hawaii. His interests include motocross and watching his local news. His name is Matthew V. Welcome, 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 Matthew. Hello. You ready to play tic-tac-toe? Absolutely. All right, here's the nine subjects that you're going to face, and they are, and I'm doing that again. They are books of the Bible, jumping category, the month of January, word problems, nursery rhymes, bonus category, 1970s, the $10,000 question, and toys and games. 
Alright, Panther, which category do you want? Toys and games. Okay, toys and games. And this is a long question, so pay, t pay attention to this question. Okay. Every little girl wanted to be just like her mom. Mom would clear away the coffee table every morning and sweat to Jane Fonda's workout cassette. What was the name of the kitty line of exercise equipment made for these future gym members? Is it A, get in shape, girl? B, you go, girl? B, sweating with the kitties? Or D, Jane Fonda's kids workout? D. Say it again. D. D as in Dolly? D, D. I think you said D. Jane Fonda's kids workout? Yeah. That's incorrect. The answer is get in shape, girl. Get in shape, girl. It's A. Alright, um, we shuffle the categories. Alright, Matthew, your pick. You know what? I feel lucky. $10,000 question. Right away. Alright, you answer as you know if you answer. This question will put $10,000 in the jackpot, okay? Okay. Which Latin American country shares its name with a nut? Oh, gosh. Would that be Nicaragua? Not Nicaragua, no. I think I did. Y'all just say the answer. Academia. You're wrong. Brazil? It's Brazil, right. Brazil nut. Hello. Yes, yeah, Brazil. The Brazilian yeah. nut. Okay, we shuffle. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, Panther, your category. Toys and games. Okay, let's see if this is going to work out for you this time. <laughs> and it's a fill in the blank. Okay. You would spend hours with your friends on a rainy day, a rainy Saturday afternoon, playing this card game consisting of 108 colorful cards, including draw two, skip, and reverse. Blank is its one word name. What is this card game? Uno. That's correct. Good job. There we go. $2,000 in the pot. We shuffle. When you said draw two, I didn't do the game. That's good. All right, uh, Matthew, you're up. Why don't we try January? Going with the month of January. Okay, these are things that are related to the month of January. And here's your question, uh, Matthew. The, the Internet's domain name system was created in January of what year? Is it A, 1985, B, 1975, C, 1995, or D, 2005? Oh, gosh. I'll say uh, 1985. 1985 is correct. Good job. Yes. That was a full-on guess. That was a good guess. Okay. $4,000 in the pot. We shuffle. I thought it was 95. It's 85. Yeah, the internet been around much longer than we know. Yep, um, go ahead, um, Alex. I'll try nursery rhymes. Go on nursery rhymes on the top left corner. Here's your question on nursery rhymes. Okay. Who cuts off the tails of the mice in the rhyme, Three Blind Mice? Is it A, the, is it a, the farmer's wife? B, the butcher, C, the miller, or D, the tailor? B. Say that again. B, the butcher? Incorrect. It's the farmer's wife. Oh, uh -huh. wow. Yeah, far the farmer's wife. Okay, we shuffle. All right. Okay, you're up, um, Matthew. 
I'm going to take nursery rhymes. Okay, going with nursery rhymes. Your question on nursery rhymes. This nursery rhyme, um, this little piggy, involves five pigs. What does the third pig eat? Is it A, apple pie, B, roast beef, C, stew, or D, pumpkin pie? That would be roast beef. That's correct. Good job. Six thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. Okay, Panther. Which category? What? I guess jumping category for the block. Get y'all dial pads out now. This is very important right here. All right, Panther. If you get this question right, you'll have a successful block. But Matthew, if you manage to get this question right. You'll be the new champion with eight thousand dollars, okay? Okay. And remember, if you miss the question, the other one gets the box automatically, okay? Hands on y'all dial pads. Here's the question. All right. What color flag is waved to indicate caution in auto racing? Matthew, for tic tac toe, let me buzz you in. For Tic Tac Go and eight thousand dollars in the championship, uh, what color flag is waved to indicate caution in auto racing? That would be a yellow flag. Tic Tac Go. Good job, Matthew. Indeed, thank you. Nice job, Matthew, with that. All right, so you had eight thousand dollars, Matthew, and in just a moment. You'll be playing against the dragon. Well, um, Panther, you did not do bad at all, sir, to say the least. You have $110,383. And uh, we'll put your name on the leaderboard, Panther, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Matthew, you just got on the call just not only, just not even five minutes ago, and you are, are the new champion. All right. Are you ready to uh, go ahead and beat the dragon? I'm set. Let's do this. Good luck, Matthew. Thank you. And, and I've got an opponent in mind already. Oh, you do? <laughs> Who's your po opponent? I'll tell you after. Okay. All right. Let's just get to the game. And tell us what prizes is he in for, Steve? Okay. You could win today the following. A dining group with dinnerware, queen-size bed with sleep set, an entertainment wall you, 36 air, TV, a trip to Munich, a bedroom group sleep set, another one for a less cheaper price, right at $38,955. Another big prize package. And uh, Matthew, if you get the tick and attack, we'll give you a $30,000 bonus and a shot at a new car, Matthew, okay? Okay, then. Here we go. We cover up the board, and which number do you want to go with? Okay. Well, considering that Phoenix is round two of the Supercross season that's actually starting today, let's start with two. Okay, let's see what's by number two. Right off the bat, you got a tick. Now, Matthew, get the tack, and we give you a $30,000 bonus. Come on. Let's do three. Okay. Right, Let's it, go next door. Will we be that sneaky and put tack behind number three? Let's see it. $1,500, Matthew. Now you can stop or go. What's your option? I'm, oh, I'm going to go for it. I have to go for it. All right. Next pick. I would be crazy to stop now. And I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with... Uh, number... Seven. Okay. Let's see what's behind number seven. You did it, Matthew. Good job. Yes, sir. So that's ten thousand dollars in cash. Another thirty thousand dollars for the bonus. Let's see what the rest of the board look like. The dragon was in number nine. 
So your bonus round rentings right now, Matthew, is $78,955. Yes, yes, audience can pause. Now, you'll be going at a shot at a new car, Matthew, and it could be a six-figure car. So let's, are you ready to see the car that you're going for? I am. Tell him what car he's going for, Steve. It is... A 2015 Dodge Viper SRT10 worth $87,910. Matthew, you see your winnings can go up really quickly if you win this car, right? Yes, I do. It could be a you could be walking with $170,000 in one game. Just tell me where the car is. Is it in tick or tack? Okay. Well, first of all, even if I don't find it, that's okay. I still walk away with a healthy sum. So just out of just for the fun of it, I'm gonna say tick. Okay. Let's oh, see. Sound effect lady. <laughs> oh mighty sound effect lady. Is that car behind tick? No. Man, we just cannot give away a car this season. But anyway, Matthew, you still have $78,955. We're going to add your previous winnings of $8,000 to your total. That means your winnings are $86,955. Oh, that's good. That is very good. Yep. And we're going to take a break, guys, and uh, we will restock the money. And when we come back, we'll do another game. Don't go away. Stay tuned for more Tic Tac Doe coming up. You may enjoy a bologna sandwich, too. And now, back with more Tic Tac Doe. <laughs> All right, guys. Well... Matthew managed to win the jackpot. He's at over $86,000. And um, he elected to face this opponent. Who is it, Steve? He is from Kentucky, and he is known to us as Justin Bowling. And Justin is coming back because he did sit out at least one game. Are y'all guys ready for this uh, last game of the night? You know, for, for a winner here. All right, is Matthew still there? Um. Okay, here we go. Let's reveal those categories. Let me put this thing here and reveal it. All right, here they are. Periodic table, the bonus category, 1980s. General knowledge, kids trivia, the 10,000 hour question, mixed game shows, opponent's choice, and solar system. Okay, Matthew, which category do you want? Uh, let's start with kids trivia. Okay, it's going to be a two-part question worth three thousand dollars, and if you need the extra time, we'll give it to you. Okay. Okay, here's your question on kids trivia. London is the capital of which country? Is it A. Chile, B. The Congo, C. Germany, or D. England? And the second question: Which of these is not a primary color? Is it A, red, B, yellow, C, blue, or D, green? Do you need the extra time? Um, yes. Give it to him, Steve. All right, I think time is up. All right, uh, Matthew, London is the capital of which country? Is it A, Chile, B, the Congo, C, Germany, or D, England? That would be England. That's correct. And for the center box, which of these is not a primary color? Is it A, red, B, yellow, C, blue, or D, green? I believe that would be green. That's correct. Good job. $3,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. Okay, um, Justin, which category? 
Mixed game shows, please. Go on mixed game shows. Take a look at the uh, screen. I'll type it in for you here. Excuse me, guys. Just a minute. Okay, you see that um, mixed game show there? Yeah, I see it. Okay, unscramble this mixed game show that is about a bridge with a bunch of elevators. Get full. That's correct. Good job. That was Alex Trebek's uh, game show. $5,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Which he did not like, I don't think. No. They didn't even <laughs> pay. Yeah, they didn't even pay him. All right, um, Matthew, which category? I will take... I feel lucky. $10,000 question. Going to $10,000 question. Get the $10,000 question correctly. We're going to add $10,000 to the pot. It will be $15,000. Here's the question. In The Simpsons... What sits next to the basement door in the Simpsons' house? Oh, gosh. I, didn't even, I haven't even seen this. Uh, I haven't even seen the Simpsons. I'm going to throw something out. A trophy? Not a bad guess. No, it's not a trophy. It's a grandfather clock. A grandfather clock. Okay, we still have five thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Justin, which category? I guess I'll take kids trivia. Going with kids trivia. Here's your question on kids trivia. What kind of animal is an asp? An asp. That's A S P. Is it A fish, B dog, C bird, or D snake? Snake. Say it again. Snake. That's correct. Good job. Seven thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Matthew. Which category? <laughs> well, I have no choice but to go with ten thousand dollar question for the block. Okay, and this will put ten thousand dollars in the jackpot, and it will be for a successful block. All right, here's your question, Matthew. The $10,000 question, that is. What board game was banned in the Soviet Union? Monopoly? We'll put $10,000 in the pot. That's right. Yes, Monopoly was banned in the Soviet Union. Yes, it was. $17,000 we shuffled. I wonder why. I'm going to look that up. All right, uh, Justin, which category? I guess I'll take opponent's choice for the block. Okay, and Matthew, you get to choose which category he'll tackle, okay? Okay. Matthew, do you, wanna, do you want Justin to answer a question on the U.S. amendments or zoology? Let's go with uh, the U.S. amendments. Okay, Justin, here's your question on the U.S. amendments. What was banned in the U.S. under the terms of the 18th Amendment? Tobacco products? Say that again. Tobacco products? Dad, you were so close. No, it's not tobacco. It's alcohol. Oh. It's alcohol. Okay. Uh, seventeen thousand dollars is in the pot. We shuffle. All right. Okay, Matthew, which category? I gotta take the periodic table for the victory. Get the periodic table correctly, uh, Matthew. It'll be tic tac toe. Nineteen thousand dollars, and your winnings will go up to one hundred and five thousand nine hundred fifty-five dollars. Okay. The symbol is I, and the atomic number is 53. This element is commonly used for synthes synthes 
synthesizing, that's what it is, for, com for synthesizing thyroid hormones. Name this element for tic-tac-doe. That was I, you said, the chemical symbol? Yeah, I'll read it again. The symbol is I, and the atomic okay. number is 53. The element is commonly used for synthesizing thyroid hormones. Name the element. Iodine? Tic-tac-toe! Yes! <laughs> well, that's your second win, Matthew. You have $19,000. And that brings your total to $105,955. And in just a moment, you'll be going ahead against the dragon shortly. Excuse me, YouTube audience. I accidentally hit the camera. All right. And um, Justin, um, um, we'll definitely have you for another game, okay? Maybe I'll, I'll hope to win in, in another game, but that was good there. Yep, it was. Um, but you'll get that win eventually. All right, we're going to um, go to the Beat the Dragon game. Are you ready, Matthew, to go ahead and beat the dragon? I sure am. All right, let's do this. Congratulations, Matthew, on your second win. Thank you. And you have the nine numbers on the board. Let's reveal everything again. And Steve, what will he be going for this time? You'll be going for a grandfather clock, along with a camping trailer, along with dining group and dinnerware, a hot tub, a queen-size brass bed and sleep set, an entertainment center with a 50-inch production TV, all valued at... Uh, 30, I couldn't read the bottom one. $33,147. Okay, thank you. Yes, yeah, $33,147. And Matthew, if you find the tick in the attack like you did the last time, we're going to drop a $25,000 bonus on top of everything, and hopefully we'll give a car this time. I hope so. Are you ready, Matthew? I sure am. All right, let's cover this board up. And if you're ready, Matthew, go ahead and pick your own number. Well, let's see. I doubt the dragon is going to be behind nine this time, so why don't I give that a shot? Okay, let's see. Is it behind nine? Good start. A thousand dollars. Um, stop or go. I'm gonna go. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's try. One. Okay, let's see what's behind number one. Four thousand dollars. You got five thousand dollars. Now you just need five thousand dollars for the prize package. Stop okay. or go. Let's go for. Let's go for. My gut is telling me that six will be good. Okay. So let's go six. All right, let's see what's behind number six. Ooh, it's a tag. Matthew, you know if you find a tick, we give you a $25,000 bonus, and you have another shot at the car, but you've got the option to stop and take the 5000 if you want to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Okay. I'm going to go... I'm going to go one neighbor down from six. Let's go with five. All right. Will we put Tick next to that tag? Is Tick behind number five or the $5,000? Do we have it? Next door neighbor. $8,000. All right. You have $8,000, Matthew. You can stop or go. I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go. All right. You need $2,000 on the Tick. Okay. Oh, gosh. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, my goodness sakes. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I don't know why, but number eight is calling my name. So I'm going to say eight. Okay. Is $2,000 a tick behind number eight? Let's see it. Ah! Oh. 
Matthew, you know what was calling your name? The dragon was calling your name saying, Matthew, Matthew, pick me. <laughs> Don't turn it. I was gonna. I, was, I had it between either eight or four. Well, let's see if let's see if the tick was behind number four. No, the tick was actually down there by seven. Darn it! Oh man, it was. So technically, it was next door. I just had to try. Yeah. Uh, oh. But Matthew, you're still the champion. Uh, now, when will you be available again to do tic tac toe? Well, good news is I won't be. I won't be uh, going out tomorrow, so I can do a game tomorrow. That'll be fantastic. Okay, guys, well, we're going to take a commercial break and pay some bills, and we'll have our closing remarks afterwards. Don't go away. We'll have closing remarks after this. Hi guys, thank you and uh, welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. Uh, the reason why I decided to have the closing remarks today because today is hat day. And I don't know if y'all see this. Hold on one second. I'm going to show y'all what I'm wearing today. Since this is the 10th episode. I'm wearing my UPS hat today. UPS. Yes, I decided to wear my UPS hat today. For good luck on today for the contestants and stuff today and i hope y'all enjoy this cap okay all right guys well we'll do episode 11 tomorrow this will be on sunday guys and um uh y'all guys be safe be careful take care everybody and stay blessed and thanks for supporting my channel because without you guys none of this will be possible good night everybody Tic Tac Jones, RCD Production and Association with the Skype Game Show Network.